Hi, I'm Chris from TTMI from the Service Department. Um, today we're going to run over just our daily checks and weekly greasing of the Argos. Um, we need to check our oil, make sure we're right. Engine oil from the full line. Our gearbox oil should be up to the mark. Full, there's two marks on it, add and, and full. We also want to check that our brakes are free. Um, and there's no foreign metals or anything or anything rubbing under here. You should should also, with your handbrake being released, should be able to move it. It should just be loose with your hand. If it if, it, if it's tight, something needs adjusting. So that's just on one of your checks weekly. Check left and right steering return springs are not damaged and still connected. We also want to check that our chains are tensioned correctly. There should be a little bit of movement on the disc with the chain, um, but not excessive. Now those chains only get oiled at a service, they shouldn't be oiled. Um, so we have front chains and middle chains. So to oil them, you just stand beside it and you push the Argo backwards. Do the same with the back chain. Same on this side. You just stand beside it, or you can get someone to push it back. Make sure they've got a good even coat. They should be done weekly. Um, also, while you're under the front, we have grease block with five grease nipples, and which covers all the grease nipples underneath or in hard to get places. Weekly should be two pumps. Um, and then we come down to the back. We also have grease nipples down the back. Two pumps. Same deal with the chains. It's on to push or you just lean against the seat. Make sure they're well covered. Same with the other side. It. And we also make sure when we're checking them that there's no water. In the back of the plugs. There is also grease nipples that need greasing at the front once a week, which is to where both chain front chains meet on the same axle on the inside and one on the left hand side behind the muffler. Um, we also just keep an eye on, check on the belts, that there's no foreign materials or the belt's not wearing, um, showing any signs of wear. Uh, the rear chains have an adjuster on them, and they're supposed to be self-adjusting, but if they do fill up with a bit of dirt and stuff, you may just have to click your hand under them. They're, sp they're designed to tension themselves. As they, they get loose, they're on a spring, and they lift up and lock down. But you just have to keep an eye on them. If they do get loose, just get your hand underneath and flick the, the plate around and it should lock itself in the next hole. It won't go fully tight until it'll only go as tight as it can reach the hole in the plate. Um, when, when cleaning the inside of this, it can be washed out. Is it going to get mud and all sorts of bits and pieces in there? But just make sure we park it on a bit of an angle when we open the bungs at the back and just clean out and scoop out any foreign material anything around there otherwise it will block up every now and then you just need to make sure it's clean and parked on the side of the hill left for a couple of hours to drain out and then you can put all the covers back in but make sure when you're using it the bungs are in otherwise if you're going through water and stuff it'll just start filling up um, along along with greasing all the grease nipples inside probably the most important one is the grease nipples on the outside bearings. That's the one that needs to be greased weekly. 
Um, if it's going to get any water in it, they'll, they'll be the ones and they need to be greased. Now, you should be able to line your tyre up or you can get a right angled fitting that goes on the end of your grease gun or an extension to poke in through the tyre. You just roll it along and all your tyres should line up and you can grease. There's one on every axle.